Hey guys, what's up, what's going on, and welcome back to the channel. Just like the title says, we're gonna start throwing some parts back at the second gen today. But before we do that, if it's your first time visiting us, why don't you hit that subscribe button in your lower right hand corner and become part of the family. Well, I do have most everything I need to start putting a truck back together, but I've made a deal as far as the transmission goes. You guys know I wanna auto swap the truck, um, take the MV5600 out of it, and uh, put an automatic in the truck. I know I'm going completely backwards than what everybody else does, but that's what I like about me. I like to do things different. Um, the dually, it's a, it's a six speed. The caddy, it's a five speed. Um, this is kind of turning into a play truck, so I wanna be able to enjoy it a little bit more, so I think I'll be able to do that with an automatic versus the six speed that's in there. So. Um, like I told you guys or showed you guys the other day, the head is back from Nye's. Um, everything was just done to factory spec. We got a, a factory, a standard thickness head gasket from uh, Hamilton Cams right here. So it was just decked versus, or it was just decked as far as a standard thickness. And then also, since we're only doing uh the head itself they were uh, the grooves were cut at 26 to 25 to 26 thousand so um everything is ready to go with that i don't know that i'm going to get the head put on today uh one of the things i do want to do is get the tappet cover put back on um I, i'm probably one of the only people that i know that is going back with the factory tappet cover i really really like this red that i have going on underneath the hood you guys know a year or so ago we had some stuff powder coated as far as uh the compressor housing and then the uh coolant neck we had that stuff powder coated and i, I like the color of the stuff so i was able to find some paint that actually matches very very well this is a duplicolor metal cast i've showed you guys that before um and i'll also put a link up here uh, for some videos where i've used it but anyway Fell Pro Gasket is uh, the PS5039-7R for the tappet cover. This comes with two different style grommets. Um, I've only really ever saw these on the two-piece covers uh, with the inner and the outer. Um, mine had this little metal washer on it um, and it was sealing just fine. So we're probably gonna go back and go ahead and continue to use these. Uh, we're one of, here's one of the old ones right here that was on there and you can see how that crushed it and kept it sealed so like I said we're gonna go back to uh, using these so when you cake this out you'll make sure and put your thick side on the inside you can see how one side's thicker than the other and then also like I showed you before the tappet covers are marked front so we know where to put it and most of the time this gasket on this little tab right here it says front or it has an arrow on it pointing to the front so um, you know where to put the gasket on but it's basically like a big rubber band with a groove cut in it and it just sits right over the edge like that um, I notice most of the time those get very very hard and brittle so that's why I went ahead we're this far I went ahead and took that off there to replace it one of the other things I think we're gonna go ahead and do while we're this far it can be done uh, when you have the VP in place, but we're going to go ahead and pick up a new crank sensor or a cam ah, Cam sensor and then in the back of the head there is a um, Intake air temperature sensor and the map sensor um, I think we're going to go ahead and pick up a new one of those a couple of those sensors also and just go ahead and put all new sensors in it um, I the sensors were working when I took them out, but there again, while we're this far, we'll probably go ahead and take care of it and put those in as well. Uh, so right now, let's go ahead and get the tappet cover put back on and probably start turning our attention and start getting the transmission pulled. All right, after you have your gas going, it's pretty straightforward. Just slide this right in place. This is very, very easy to do when everything is out of the way. And then just make sure and put your bolts in the right places. Mm -hmm. 
you got these stands that go in the back three because of your ECM and your fuel return. All right, I forgot I was wrong. You got a short and it goes in the middle of these two stands. Uh, it is for your ECM, but the width of your ECM, you need to have them spaced apart just a little bit. So you got your two stands in the back back there. You'll have just a short bolt, a stand, and then a short bolt. Um, I'm gonna venture to say this has never been taken off before, uh, as brittle as it was. So that's why I'm going back with just the metal washers that was on there if i wanted to go with the rubber grommets i could but i'm just going to go back with the way that it was and when you get everything tight these just get torqued to 18 foot pounds that's it with that I'm gonna go ahead and set the ECM back in place for right now All right, with the tablet cover back in place, I am gonna go ahead and forget about the head for right now. Um, did get some phone calls while I was uh, eating some lunch and got some developing changes within the head. So this is just gonna set put. We're gonna cover it up and leave it alone. Um, everything is cleaned up and ready to go on the engine. And we are going to turn our attention on to getting the uh, transmission pulled out. I have some some stuff coming now for the uh, the head that we're going to wait on. So um, was able to, um, let's just say my wife helped me out um, along with somebody else. So uh, thankful to her. It was a late birthday present uh, from Monday. So um, this is gonna go on the back burner before it goes back on probably one day next week. So anyway, how many of you guys that has been with the channel for a while remember this right here? It's been a minute since we used this, but uh, we have used this on the channel. This sits just about like this. Something like that, maybe around this way. This was my motorcycle jack, and I actually have some videos on there. Um, I'll put a card up there, put a link up there if you guys wanna check it out. This is a motorcycle jack that I had uh, turned into a transmission jack. Now I said at that point in time I was going to do some changes to it and actually add some swivel casters to this side too and of course it never got done. So um, we're going to use it the way that it is. Uh, what I did is I made this to be able to pull the transfer case and transmission out as a whole. Uh, this is like a little kickstand that I put out there. This actually goes like this. That's just a little kickstand that I made to go back out and support the back of the transfer case. I have a couple of different lifting legs that I made that I'll slide up there and go in there. That is made to lock into one of the bolts that's existing in the transfer case. Or I do have this little cradle that I made also. And that will just cradle the back of the differential. Um, or the back of the transfer case. It's whichever one I decide to use. Um, I think I used this one last time, if I remember correctly. 
Um, but uh, right now we're gonna start getting the transmission out. All right, there's actually quite a bit of stuff that has to come out, be able to, uh, to pull the trans with the T-case. Um, it's just the way I do it. Instead of unbolting a transfer case right there from the back of the transmission, I just pulled it out as one last time and it worked all right for me. Um, we're gonna start with the front drive shaft. Then uh, I'll jack the, I'll re re remove the transmission support bolts, the transmission mount bolts, and I'll jack that up just a little bit and uh, put a jack stand underneath the tail shaft of the uh, transfer case. And then I'll go ahead and pull the support out, put my transmission jack under there and get everything supported and then start pulling the bolts out of the adapter plate. And then also pull the rear drive shaft out right there. So um, there, there's, then you got your hydros up there. Um, after that, everything should just slide right out and uh, be good. So That's what we're gonna work on when we get back. Um, actually, my son, I forgot, has an appointment, so I gotta run him to there. So I guess for today, it's gonna be a short video um, as far as what I have to show you guys. Um, I have other videos where I've pulled the trans out before, so I guess for right now, we're gonna go ahead and sign off and call her quits. Um, I'll probably do a video on that when that guy gets here with the, uh, the automatic stuff for me and the swap, so. Um, until then, if you guys don't mind, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already done so, and we'll talk to you guys later on.